Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Reign of Kings. This is going to be Season 1, Episode 1, and I got a friend here in TeamSpeak with me, uh, Dark Ritual. Hi, how you doing, everybody? Okay, and I fit, uh, Dark Ritual is apparently the king of the land, so I figured I'd get him in here and we could talk about the game. Um, I played this on stream yesterday, and I built this little house here, and I had like a bunch of stuff, and someone broke in my door, someone broke in my door and took all my crap. I I logged on and I said all my stuff's gone. That whole night was wasted. Um, I'm gonna stop playing. And then I said, you know what? Let me talk to these guys and see what's going on. Uh, so, oh, for those of you who don't know, uh, from my old YouTube, from my old YouTube, old YouTube days, it was like a year ago. But uh, when I used to play, I used to play a Fat Planet. Fat Planet's actually on this server. This is like, I think this is a CRL server. So. Um, it, it is a CRL server. Yes, it is a private server, so don't ask to get on. But um, you know, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so I so I was like, well, let me talk to some people. I got in Teamspeak, and they said there's two like, I guess they're going to be warring factions. There's the Fat Planet Army, and there's the what's the other one? Uh, we're just the Dark Knights. The Dark Knights, okay. And um, yeah, I kind of like the idea of those two factions warring. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, I want to be a part of it. So right now, I'm just sitting down here like a hermit, like an idiot. And people are just going to walk by and be like, yeah, who's this fool by himself with nobody backing him up? Let's go take his stuff. So they took my stuff. So I'm going to make my way to the... What, what do you guys love? Is that castle? or? Yep, the big castle that actually, if you look at it from the side, it's actually a statue of a king. Okay, so for those, for those of you who don't know what Reign of Kings is, do you want to give them like a rundown? Um, Reign of Kings is... Gosh, how to say this? It's almost what we wanted to see out of Life is Feudal. Um, Life is Feudal, if it, for anybody doesn't know, is a medieval simulator, essentially. And this is pretty similar, except for there's a lot less grinding and ramp-up time. Yeah, yeah. And you can build everything by yourself in this game, whereas in Le as, uh, Life is Feudal, you had to do it as a team, or you had to, you know, fake the server and give yourself insane stats. Um, it, but, rem um, it reminds me a lot of Rust. Yeah, um, it's got very rustish building, a little bit of Seven Days to Die, in my opinion, because it's all blocky voxel. Um, and then the combat is actually based off of chivalry, for those who know what that is. Chivalry, yes, yes. I, I, I never played it, but I, I've seen people play it. Okay, so I'm going to need a stone axe. I'm going to have to get wood. How do I get wood with my bare hands? I could punch trees, right? Or... Hit it with um, my, oh, not have a, uh, I got my weapon. Hand axe? Yeah. Okay. Well, it, well yeah, they took my hand axe because, you know, I'm sure they really needed it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> so well, I, more likely, they dropped it on the ground and it respawned. Yeah, something. even better. So, I got to move in with people because I'm not going to be able to start over every game. That will drive me up a wall. I should start in a really nice place here. There's a ton of rocks, like, behind my area. Um, it's a really nice place to live, but, you know, it's not worth, like... I know this is dark, guys. I'm, I apologize. I need an axe. Actually, no, I don't need an axe. I need flax. Um, I make a torch. Try upping your brightness to 15 if you haven't already. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's part of the game. I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, I know it's a little dark on YouTube, but that's just... That's up to me to get a torch. It's, you know, it's all part of the game, guys. Um, some people say they like the darkness. That's to the, uh... To, to the immersion. You know, some people like mm -hmm. to be able to see what's going on, but... Um, I was playing Seven Days to Die the other night, and I went outside at night, and people were, like, all excited. They couldn't see anything, but it was really dangerous, and they really liked it. So, now, you are going to want to watch out for the werewolves, mm -hmm. the vampires, and the um, wolf, regular wolves on the way here. See, that's what got me excited about this game when I first started playing it. I thought there would be, like, PvE servers, and there's not, apparently. Uh, this is about as PvE as it gets. So, I was thinking, like, I don't know what they're going to do with the werewolves and the vampires, but maybe have them roaming and maybe attacking villages. I would like to see a PvE server, personally. Um, PV, PvP's fun, too, though, but I kind of like PvE. And, and, you know, that's why they have alphas like this, to get that feedback. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I'm probably in the minority, so... <laughs> No, no, I can totally see the idea of a PvE server. I mean, a nice village cooperating, rising, making a huge, awesome building. Right, An so entire castle spanning half the island. This star fair here is Flax, I believe. Yep, there we go. Look at the bottom right-hand side. I got Flax. If you look on the bottom right-hand side, there's a, a little green bar that's stamina. Then there's a thirst meter, and then there's a hunger meter. Uh, if you press I, it brings up your inventory. Uh, here's your crafting manuscripts. It's actually pretty straightforward. I appreciate that. Um, so now that I got some flax, what else did I need for the torch? 
Um, no, don't want that. Lights. Torch. There we go. Let's craft this up a torch. Now I'm not even going to make anything else. I'm just going to run out there. Um, I can always grab more flax on the way and make more torches. How long do the torches last? Um, you know what? I don't use them. No. Well, la di da, Mr. Darkness. King. No, he I just, just run around in complete darkness. He just stays in his throne all day. <laughs> Yells at the peasants. Bring me torches! See, <laughs> the funny thing is, is people will... If you become king in this game, people will complain about the tax. Okay? But then you go and look at how much it is. It's nothing. You don't get anything. It's you nothing. don't get anything. You have to play like everybody else. Yeah, it's it's nothing. I I what he's talking about, guys, is there's tax in the game. Is the tax set at zero? I saw you set at zero the other um, day. Right now it's set at three percent just for fun. Okay. Yeah, I mean I got no um, problem with that. If they don't like it, storm the castle, kill the king. Which they tried to and they all died. Now here's here's my thing with the tax. Um if you're taxing people People that are under your protection should have to pay the tax, but I don't think everyone should have to pay the tax. Because like, actually, once you join my clan, yeah, you don't pay tax. Oh, see, that's kind of backwards. If I'm under your protection, like, because really, what a king would do is a king would collect taxes, and it's just like real life, you know? Like they do, they build roads, they do like stuff, they give you protection, police force, schools. I mean, obviously, they wouldn't put schools in this, but you know, I think if a king, I think a king should be able to maybe make some NPC guards that will protect anyone who's under the king's protection. You know, that'd be a cool idea, actually. Okay, so right over there, there's a building here. I'm not sure if that's an NPC building. It probably is. And if it is, there's bad NPCs in this game I want to stay away from. And if you look over there, there's the castle. That's an awesome looking castle, by the way. They did not build that. That is part of the game. And he's got a little sword, and that's how we get up there. So... So where does all the building go? Do you guys, like, just build in front of the... Like, like in front of that castle, like, that whole, like, open area, or...? Um, we kind of have locked off the sword as a sort of a forward, forward defense, and then um, we've gated in the castle, and then you can build anywhere else you want in there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. I was gonna join Fat Planet Army because you know Fat Planet's my, my boy, but um, he's never on what I'm on, and he's like got a very different play schedule. So I'm gonna join the Evil Knights of Evil Darkness or whatever it's called. Yeah. His schedule is very night-oriented at the yep. moment. Yep. Although, he does stream on weekend weekends, so if he, if he tries to storm the castle on a Saturday or Friday night, man, I'm going to log on. You, you might get yourself an FB kill. <laughs> that would be awesome. It would be like Hunger Games <laughs> all over again. Oh my goodness, you bring that up. <laughs> oh, I, I love those. <laughs> I kind of hope uh, now that he's partnered, maybe he'll think about doing some more YouTube. Because he said he he always said he'd go back to YouTube after being partnered. We'll see. I think YouTube misses Fat Planet LP. That's all I'm saying. You know, I actually agree. And uh, let's just say it's already been mentioned. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, so here we go. Yes. Okay, so nobody's building in this. Yeah, this is kind of a, a big hill anyway, so I guess you wouldn't be able to build anything here. Oh, it looks like there's some buildings down there. So do I go over the sword, or do I go to the buildings out front? Uh, go towards the sword. Okay. You're actually going to walk up the sword. Ugh, awesome. It's pretty epic at night. I know, right? People on TeamSpeak are telling me the open servers are just kill after kill after kill. Um, you know, I'm not, that doesn't really appeal to me. Uh, I don't mind having a warring faction, but I want people to back me up. And if I went on a multiplayer server, it'd just be just me, just getting ganked over and over. Yeah, unfortunately, a common theme with the public servers have been a couple of the bigger name streamers mm -hmm. and YouTubers have been getting groups of, say, 10 or 20 people to log onto the server at the same time. Yeah. Kill everyone and take over. I'm not even a big... but it's a PvP game. I'm not even a big streamer YouTuber. I could probably put something together like that. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I'm, my point is it's not difficult. <laughs> I could definitely oh, see that. No. All is right. that you, Cage? Yep, what's up? Let me invite you to the faction. That's the king right there. Oh, see, there we go. You can see my butt crack there. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, go ahead and hit, head and hit O. O. And then you'll be able to accept the invitation. Accept. And now I am okay. part of... Oh, that's a cool Talbert. I like that. And then I'll go ahead and make you family so you have access to everything. Okay, so there's only five people oh, in this skill, huh? uh, Yep, so far. Okay. And uh, just to let everybody know what family means is whenever you join a, a guild, you start off as just a regular member of the guild and have certain accesses. 
and certain locks can be set for family only, which is a higher rank in said guild. So you can have, you know, different tiers of what people have access to. So it says my guild. It doesn't say the guild name anywhere. Oh, I there it goes. It just it. changed. Okay. Yep. Dark Knights. Dark Knights of Evil Darkness. <laughs> I'm actually not that evil. Sorry to tell everybody. <laughs> well, they told me it was an evil guild. Oh, look at this. You got a trebuchet? Yep. How hard was this to build? Guarding. A uh, bit of an issue. Like, <laughs> bugs issue or just hard to build? A lot of resources. Yeah. And only five people. How many people are in the Fat Planet army? Um, I think like eight right now. Uh-oh. We gotta, we gotta start recruiting. And uh, if you look up here, actually, on the wall, they do already have ballistas in the game. Oh, nice. Can I shoot it, or...? Yeah, go ahead. How do I...? Oh, okay. Coming up here. So, in order to aim it, you're going to aim your mouse at the very end here, and you see how hold aim for middle mouse button comes up? Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and reload it for you. Am I loading it, or are you doing it? Oh, actually, you go ahead. You're on the video. Okay. Go ahead and hold E on the device. You'll see a window do, that says hold to reload. Do I have to hold aim the whole time, or just once I'm locked in, I can let go of the middle mouse button? Uh, do the reload first. Hold E to reload. Oh, okay. Um, open magazine? Uh, no. Why don't you come over hold to the side Hold to reload, got it. Ah, there you go. Okay. Okay. And then now do the aiming. And I have to hold down the middle mouse button or the aim comes off. Okay. So. Yep. And you I have just, to hold down the middle mouse. Someone's coming up. I just go. Bam. Whoa. Why'd that go over there? It kind of went up to the. It, it kind of went up to the top on the right. That's not where I was aiming. Oh uh, well, there's a, there's a little bit of um, variance. Just yeah. Oh, I didn't mention this in the video. Early access. Uh, there's gonna be bugs and stuff, but you know. And these are very medieval, like, um, weapons, so, like, they're not going to go where you point them all the time, because, you know, medieval. Yeah, um, they were never they were never amazingly accurate, you know. Do you have any food by any chance? Let me test to see if this works. I do. That'd be awesome, thank you. Hold E to interact with player. Oh. Open. And there's some water as well. Oh, sweet, thank you. I'll show you guys how to get food and water event like later. I just just looking around. I want to see if a certain feature works with uh, these. Oh yeah. See that one straight for you. I'm gonna try and fire it again because mine seemed to go off to the side. Maybe I just missed it. Let me try. Okay. Uh, hold E to reload. Now, with arrows in this game, you can hold right-click, and you'll actually get a bullet time where it follows the arrow. Um, check to see if that works with the ballistas, too. Oh, it just fired. I didn't hit the button. Hmm. Let me try again. Maybe I was doing it wrong. You just hold down the middle mouse button to aim, and then left-click to shoot, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's firing when I'm not doing anything. It's weird. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, it must be glitchy. Yeah, glitchy. Can we, can we fire the trebuchet? Uh, let me see if it has ammo. What does what it use? Big rocks? Uh, yeah, and counterweights. My god, what they went through back in the day. To, like, just chuck some I'm rocks. I'm going to add a couple of rocks so you'll get a nice... Uh, Big shot for your viewers. Okay, counter. You do have to actually add stones to the counterweight. Yeah, but and uh, depending on how many stones you add, depends on how far it launches. Oh, okay, but the stones stay in there. So if you want, if you want it to go not as far, you take out a couple stones, right? Exactly. Okay. And then looks like it should be loaded with a round. I got hold to collect if you and then over open here and hit counterweight. Oh, yeah. okay. Come over here. This is the fire mechanism. So Click just... on that and then watch over the top of the uh, 
bridge. Okay, so it was empty. Okay. We'll go and we'll make a couple of uh, rocks real quick so we can show that off for you. Follow the king! So are more CRL people going to get into this, or...? Uh, yeah, we're thinking so. We've had the numbers already double over the last day, so... You gotta start recruiting. We're, we're, out, we're outnumbered by the FP Army. Only for now. Those no, no good do-gooders. <laughs> so you can capture people in this game too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could... Now, this is gonna sound weird, guys, and I'm kind of weirded out by it, but you can stuff a rock up your butt, and then when you get captured, you can <laughs> use that to uh, get out of the cell somehow. I don't know how exactly, but... Yeah. Okay, so a little preview for your viewers. In the hell here, was that? See this giant tree? What was that? That was one of the horns in the game. Okay, we'll get we'll get to that. Okay. For alarms. Giant tree. Giant tree. So, for you players, if you ever become the king and you do the tax, well, where does the tax go? You come into this tree, there's a bunch of chests. Now, only the king has access to these, mm -hmm. but it collects wood, stone, uh, that one is clay, iron, oil, and beer, food, and water, <laughs> and ale from your people as they're <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, th and this is where you come to collect your stuff. Damn, that's sweet. Do you get up? Um, this is one of the more advanced buildings right here. This it is looks the broken. siege workshop. You actually have to make. Oh, yeah, it's a workshop. No, it's, okay. It placed weird. Yeah. So, in here, actually, if you want to get in there and pull up the interface and show them what it's like, you can build some of these siege weaponry. Go ahead and scroll down, you'll see more of it. Um, what is it? Oh, siege, okay. Uh, ballistas, ballista bolts, explosive kegs. Oh, we gotta drop an explosive keg on Fat Planet. We don't have the resources yet, so. Uh, we'll get there. Um, damage 9,000, that can't be a coincidence. Um, trebuchet <laughs> and trebuchet stone. Mm -hmm. Projectiles, throwing stones, and javelins. There's no bows in the game, huh? There is bows. Oh, we'll there is. That. Oh, okay. I just probably haven't gotten to that point yet. Mm -hmm. So, if you let me in there, I can sure go does. ahead and create one of those uh, big launching stones. Now, there is crafting timers. Um, I don't know if they're going to make that editable on servers yet, but at the moment there is. Nice thing about crafting in this game, however, though, is I can undo that building and walk away, and it continues crafting. The same with your inventory. If you set something to craft in your inventory, and then just keep going about your business, yeah. it'll continue crafting. Yeah, it's like, it's like Rust, except you don't get slowed down. Actually, it's more like seven days to die with that. If you play with crafting cars. Uh, yeah. So we have three balls to launch. Let's go have some fun. All right, let's do that. I love the the like the way you can see the whole island. That's pretty impressive. Actually, if you'd like to know, come up here and get a better view. So this is the layout of the island for everybody to see. Um, in the far off way. You see the Manila sandy beach. That's one of the regular spawn points for people. And then this nearer beach is also another regular spawn point. It, it is um, pretty... It's just basically... But it, it is pretty small island. Or, not small, but... Actually, it looks small from up here, but I'll bet you go down there. It takes forever to get around. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, the, those sandy beaches are the normal spawn points where everybody spawns. The grassy area in the center is the main area for, say, wood and uh, a couple of rocks, so your iron ores, um, your flowers, your flax, which is definitely needed for crafting, uh, lots of animals there. And as you can see, there looks like a little structure in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that structure. That's the bad guys, a, right? A, a, yeah, that's a. No, that's actually a plagued city. Yeah, plague city, yeah. That's where I was living. I was living city, close to it. 
if you go into it, you will take damage every second. Um, there is loot containers in there that have special stuff that cannot be tamed otherwise, though. So, the have you ever... theories for getting in are... Yeah, I've been through there already. Okay. Um, the two ways to do it are to take lots of bandages with you, or you can craft a potion made with liver and duck's feet that gives you 60 seconds of immunity to it to go loot. And is there guys near you have to fight as well? Uh, yes, those are what we call the vampires. Um, they're kind of like a mix between a vampire and an actual bat. Uh, imagine if you saw a human being with webbing from their arms to their feet. Well, we're going to have to go in there at some point. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. We'll show you that. We'll show you those. Uh, they are a bit hard to kill, and they can kill you. Well, I, yeah, I need to I need to just uh, start building and get, like, armor and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Where does, so uh, the, where does the Fat is, Planet Army live? Um, right in the center of that green triangle area. Okay. Oh, so... so and then you see that little... What? So they're kind of by the uh, Plague City. Yeah, they're right next to it. Yeah, so they're the they're the ones that probably raided my house because I was living right by the Plague City. That's possible. Freaking fat planet army. We gotta we gotta rid Th the. There are a, there are a couple of independents on the server though, other than you. Ah. Uh. Now, um, that little Manila area you see just beyond the green grassland is actually the. Uh, dead grassland so it's going to be you know yellow hay and it's going to have some more rock nodes uh, lots of rabbits and stuff and then that black shimmering area just next to that is where you get the oil in game for production of advanced supplies someone left 200 oil in my chest when they raided me for some reason <laughs> I guess oil is easy to get <laughs> I'm guessing they didn't have enough room to take whatever they wanted. Well, I, the stuff I have wasn't worth oil. I don't understand that, but maybe... I don't know. <laughs> well, people are weird. But that gives them a basic layout of the land, I think. Uh, most of the resources... Well, obviously all resources are gatherable somewhere on there. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to call this one here, right? And uh, th thanks for uh, making this video with me and showing people around. And uh, that's going to be it for episode one. And we'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.